Okay, let's do a sequence on a call for cooling. Power is going to pass from R to Y through the thermostat, which is not mounted in here, but we will uh, simply assume it's there so that the power does pass from R to Y. Then it goes through normally closed discharge thermostat, uh, discharge, excuse me, discharge temperature switch. That's that one located on the discharge of the compressor. A high pressure switch and normally closed and a normally closed low pressure switch. These are both refrigerant uh, pressure switches. High pressure switch in case uh, condenser fans fail or something like that. The pressure got too high, it would shut off. And the low pressure switch if there was a low charge in the system. Uh, it would open. Okay, to energize C. Okay, C is energized. C contacts close. Power passes through. I'm going to go do the condenser fan motor first. Down through to the run and start winding on condenser uh, fan motor and energizes the fan motor. Now in this case we're assuming CFS or condenser fan switch is open so the second condenser fan motor does not come on. Now here it gets a little more complicated. We're going up to the uh, compressor running through the run capacitor to start. Uh, that feeds power to start However, we also have a normally closed set of contacts that go through a start capacitor, which is a larger capacitor in strength than the run capacitor. This will be, if this was 40 microfarads, this may be 2 to 400 microfarads. So this will give power up through the start capacitor, down through here, and over to the start winding. So it's going to give the start winding a big boost. Now it's a normally closed set of contacts. Okay, as soon as the compressor gets to over 75% of its normal speed, SR, which is start relay, which is mounted between C and S. This is a very high voltage uh, relay coil. When the uh, voltage gets high enough, uh, then it will energize and open this set of contacts. I will go through the way the start relay works in another uh, video, but this is a potential start relay, or we just call them potential relays. The power is also passing through OL, which is a line break overload, which is going to shut down the, the common side of the compressor, which will shut it completely down, if there is an over temperature in the wiring going from C to L2. That would mean probably an overdraw in the compressor. The compressor is drawing way too much power, then OL will open up. This all happens at the same time Y gets energized. Power will also pass from R to G through the thermostat to energize the indoor fan motor. Now we're not showing the indoor fan motor on this thing because we don't have the uh, the indoor unit just like we don't have HR1 and HR2 heaters. So now we've got it completely started. Okay the last part of this sequencing is we're going to close CFS. So power will go through C down through CFS, which is now closed, and it will energize the second condenser fan motor. 
And that's the uh, cycling of this next air conditioner.